finally here. The Hits Radeon RX 480 with 8 gigs of VRAM. Oh yes, uh, of course, well, this is Kenneth, um reporting live from the scene where my GPU has finally been delivered. Yes, hey, I um, ordered it yesterday morning, got delivered today uh, after lunch, and I'm finally getting to do an unboxing and setup video here. So, let's get into this trash. That is sweet. And we're obviously going to install it into my gaming PC to, well, finally make it a gaming PC, after all. HIS technologies, faster, cooler, quieter. Oh, I don't know about that. This one, uh, the RX 480, is supposed to be a little bit under loud and uh, hot side of things, but I guess it'll be fine. I don't care about that. As long as it doesn't break. <laughs> Alright, um, yes, it's manufactured with the new FinFET 14 nanometer technology, which is supposed to make it more efficient. We'll see about that. Okay, so we open the box. It's cardboard all around. A little insert here, which is also cardboard. Check that out afterwards. And here is the GPU, right in there. This is the very first uh, actual gaming GPU that I have bought. So, wow. <laughs> well, quite, quite a uh, first time for me here. So, yes, we'll be installing it into the PC in just a minute. There seems to be nothing more in this box. Yeah. Let's look at the insert here. That's something. That is, uh, oh nice, display port to DVI adapter, might come in handy, actually it will because uh, I'm using HDMI with the Mac Mini and so I'm going to use this one to use the PC with DVI on the monitor. Okay, uh, HAS faster cool quieter, driver and installation guide, okay, better performance per watt, okay, well, Let's see what they've got. Oh god. Well, okay. Install CD, install DVD. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's a DVD. Well, that's a problem because we haven't got a drive for that. Well, uh, we, luckily, we have got a USB drive somewhere around the house. Multi-language quick installation guide. I uh, think I'm gonna be fine without that one, but might just install the software that way. Okay, well, let's uh, get to the PCIe side of things. Okay, here we go. Got the beast. Hmm. How do I do this without wrecking it? Because of ESD. Oh, I guess I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> uh, goes in this way. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. That definitely. Oh, we've got some sticker stick, stickers on here. That looks way better. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, uh, well I need to get rid of two of the PCI shields at the back. These capacitors are in the way and I do not want to break them, so I have to do this uh, differently. Oh, there we are. That works. Oh, okay. Whew.
that's a close fit. That's a very close fit with the RAM. But it's a calculated fit. Sounds good. Oh, here we are. Now I just need some screws. There were four screws that look small enough to fit right there. Can't even see. Uh, no, maybe they're good. I don't know. I I need a screwdriver. Obviously, that fits well enough for me. Not going anywhere. Now onto the power. Right there. Which uh, will require us to open the back of the computer. I guess uh, some more intelligible people or more knowledgeable people have put thought into it, so I can trust those people with it. Okay, so I've got the power cable here. Um, see, that's that doesn't fit. Let's try the other one. Yeah, that that'll work. Kaboom! That's fine. Don't really need any cable ties because it's all very snug in there anyway. Don't see how there would be any problems. So hopefully we'll get it all back together. Hmm. You know what? I'll just put this back on. I don't really care about the cable management when I don't see it. Okay, well I'm getting, I'm actually getting excited now. Yes, I, I am actually excited for the experience because the um, previous, well, Windows computer that I've owned uh, was an um, all-in-one by Dell with uh, some kind of half business, half very casual gaming. AMD GPU in it. So this one's on well, a very very definite a very big upgrade over that. So genuinely excited. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Well it did cost quite a buck as well. The um, RX 480 with 8 gigs of video memory which is really becoming the standard uh, cost me around 280 euros or just under that which is fine but still a considerable amount of money it's all back together it's plugged in I'm using the uh, display port to DVI adapter which is actually the very first time that I have personally plugged something into a display port port this is an Apple external super drive thing that's the only external drive that I have uh, so yeah let's try this bad guy out I think we need to switch in parts <laughs> yes this is already running off the uh, RX 480. You can tell because the Windows loading indicator is much smoother. Runs like butter. Well, oh, nice stretched screen. Oh, I see we are missing some drivers, which I did expect. So let's put in the driver install CD. I don't have that much time, Windows. Got my driving lesson in less than 20 minutes. Ah, you know what? Cut. So, uh, well, I'm back. It is half past nine in the evening. Uh, 
and I've been well I've been looking for drivers for the RX 480 and well there are some on the uh, official AMD website as you can see for Windows 8.1 if you download this file right here which is the one I would need then all you get upon installation is the audio driver the HDMI audio and the install manager for updates but you don't actually get the driver for the graphics card well and that's obviously a bug and I've I searched what well, driver won't install correctly in Google and the first result gives me AMD community and uh, in this answer it says that the device information for the RX480 is completely missing in the Windows 8.1 driver.in file that is so stupid why would they not include this critical information in this file I, I'm, I'm baffled so what I have to do is I have to download the Windows 7 drivers extract these drivers they're self-extracting thankfully and then I have to browse there which I'm going to do right now go to C, AMD, Crimson now we, I've got the Windows 8.1 and the Windows 7 I'm obviously going to have to choose this one then we go to packages, drivers, display packages, drivers, display this thing and then we get the in file so we have to right click and install the in file yes okay that should give us or give windows better all the information it needs to provide this thing with the hardware ID of the RX 480 so when it starts analyzing the system it will detect the RX 480 and then hopefully we can we can install the driver because right now it's a Microsoft basic display adapter which is not going to run anything at all So, stop. Ah, god damn it, what the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? We've got Radiant Graphics. Okay. It's installed? What the fucking hell? That is, I mean, we, we don't get a driver but we kind of do what the, what the hell are you kidding me is it now done we have we don't have the control center what the oh my god control center can also be installed manually by using the CCC next 64 MSI let's try this I do accept of course okay install Oh my god. That is ridiculous. Hey, we've got the AMD settings. Woo! Hey! Who would have guessed? Let's check for updates. This software is up to date. Done. What do we have? Oh, uh, what did it say that? There we go. Graphics chipset. RX480. Cool. I love that. I sure love that. 8 gigs of VRAM, the GDR5. Finally! Oh my god. Um, this means we are oh, deleting some shit here. Don't need this. Can extract it again. Boom. Um, we are going to run a benchmark. So. Just Cause 2. This one, oops, sorry about the focus there. Um, Just Cause 2 ran, well, it, it did run, obviously, on the integrated graphics. Um, it wasn't pretty by any means, but it worked um, on 720p with uh, 
quite low details or mid details. I had about 40 FPS, which is pretty good, but obviously 720p. So let's change that. Display settings. No, actually, it's in advanced display settings. High. Can, is there a preset? Optimal settings. There we go. High, very high. You see, it turned on all the things. <laughs> That's cool. So keep the changes. Yes. Oh, this is going to look so much better. Resolution settings. There you go. Why is that so hard to find? Oh, there we go. Accept changes. Where do you click? Yeah, I forgot to plug in the controller. <sighs> Keep resolution. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Look at that sharpness. Oh my god. Yeah, let's run the benchmark. The Dark Tower. Can you see that? 60 fucking frames per second. Obviously using V-Sync, but I mean, look at that. That is awesome. The Intel graphics were literally at like 15 FPS at this scene. I mean, it's obvious It's obvious that with a proper GPU you're going to have proper frames, but I'm just blown away. Look at that. Average frame rate 60. There, there you have it. That's it. That's all I wanted. I could probably get more, but V-Sync is fine for me. So... Because I hate tearing. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more.